Hi Cancers and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from February 20th to the 26th of 2023. I hope you're all doing well. My beautiful CMCs and for those of you that don't know what CMC stands for is Cosmic Moonchild. Now before I get started with the reading I do have a few announcements because it's important because some of you still don't know that I, I am open for personal readings. Okay so anything that's underneath the video is very important because I changed everything. Okay, so definitely if you know if you know how to reach out to me for a personal reading, it's underneath the video. Okay, it's through email only. And uh, so yeah, I'm open for personal readings. I'm really excited with me and my team. Uh, for those of you that do know who, who my team is. I also have Mark, who's been with me for four years uh, under my umbrella. And he's an amazing healer does past life regressions he does also shadow work he does everything <laughs> uh, including with my with the other with my other uh, team members as well uh, so if you ever want to check out his, uh, his uh, website or email him for any questions please go right ahead he's available okay and uh, i never had one bad review about him so far so after like you know and i've known him for 10 years my soul brother Another thing is that these decks that I'm using, I am affiliated with uh, the company here. It's called Into Tarot. And uh, yeah, by actually accident, I bumped into uh, this uh, website through a, a, a friend of mine that uh, she got like these angel cards here, as you can see, and there's other ones here. Anyway, and I, I, I reached out to them and I instead, because like, most of the time, uh, uh, I get thousands, and I'm not joking, and I'm sure a lot of people out there do, but I get thousands of people that want to collaborate with me, and I don't. I choose who I want to collaborate with. That's the difference. And I chose to collaborate with them. So underneath the video, you will see, uh, you could uh, get them on their website, or they're also on Etsy, okay? And their prices are reasonable, and they're amazing cards. I love working with them. So now let's get started with your reading, okay, Cancers? Okay, now... Anytime you see this video will be the right time for you. Anywhere that you have cancer placements, whether you're sun, moon, rising, whatever, and, and any planets, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time, like I always say. If the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, look at your other placements. In the reading, very important. Take what's yours and let the rest go. And feel free to swap the energies if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. In the reading, what I will be looking at is your recent past, your current energy, your immediate future, what is uh, being hidden from you, and what is your challenge, and then we're going to clarify the cards, and after that, we're going to look into what the universe wants to tell you, all right? So my beautiful Cancers, underneath the video, I want you to put hashtag CMC and put all the emojis that you want. The more of you that, you know, bring that into the comments, the higher it's going to go through. And it's abundance for the collective and also for yourself. So hashtag CMC and whatever you want to put next to it. Hearts, you know, anything that you want to manifest, right? In the emojis. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening for you. I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm happy to be back doing the weeklies. And also, I'm going to also be starting to do the all signs as well per week, like your current energy, okay? So let's see, Cancers, CMCs, let's see what's happening. Cancers, you don't want to talk. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to talk, Cancers. You don't want to reveal anything at this time. Come on. <laughs> cancers. What's happening? There we go. The seven of Cups reversed in the recent past till now. Clarity of thought is coming in. You're not feeling confused. The solar eclipse. Yeah, so big changes are coming for you. That's another challenge, but it's not a challenge. It's what is going to be taking place. The timing is about six months from now where you're going to be releasing. The divine is coming in to aid you to release everything so you could start a new emotional cycle. Okay, and this is in the solar eclipse. So big changes are coming for you, Cancers. And a lot of, actually everybody on the collective is going to be going through this. All right. It's like a deep emotional cleanse that's taking place. With the three of coins ooh, doing it together 
uh, there could be a collaboration, could be a work of uh, people, uh, or, or just a, a strong foundation here. It's uh, listening, uh, interacting, building together. Beautiful, beautiful energy of people coming in together here. Let's look in the current energy. The King of Wands, upright. This could be you in energy or someone around you in the current energy. This is someone that's very successful, but it's also someone that's a born leader and taking action here. The page of coins. There's good news coming in. There's good news around work, money, or some type of stability. That's definitely, there's someone that's laying a foundation here. And you got the queen of wands reversed. Hmm, the king of wands upright and the king of wands, uh, the king of wands upright and the king of wands, uh, queen of wands reversed. Doesn't have to be any gender. There's no gender specified here. Uh, someone here, it's, or, or it's about uh, self-confidence in, in, in oneself. Okay, here. Uh, or someone here, it's like, uh, has an energy. It's like, it's my way or no way at all. Or my way or the highway is what I'm picking up. But we're going to have to clarify. Let's look at the immediate future. Oh, there you go. Nine of Wands upright. Okay, a test of faith here. And a lot of you are going through this on the collective as well. You're very persistent and you're moving forward. Doesn't matter how hard and the challenges are, you are moving forward. But it's important to put boundaries is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's look at what is being hidden from you. Nothing is going to stop you. Okay, now there's a song coming into my head. This always happens. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to come into. I'm trying to do the reading. Okay, let's see what's hidden from you. Okay, nothing is gonna stop me. Uh, nothing is gonna stop me. Nothing is gonna stop you. There's a song that has a verse. Cancers, I will need your help to find this song. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to stop me from going after what I want or getting what I want. Okay, sideways. The five of swords is sideways with the king of coins is sideways. This is about stability, being a good business person. Could be some type of stability or this is someone here that's ruled by materialism, but it's at a pivotal point. And uh, with the Five of Swords also coming in sideways, okay, this is a, a shifting of energy that might be taking place. We're doing something, doing it differently. Doing, we're doing something differently. They could be unexpected prices or uh, someone here is not playing by the rules. It's sideways. We have to see why. Something. I'm, I'm hearing the... I'm hearing the uh, the song that's coming in but i don't know the song i would have known i would know the song but i don't know the song it feels very light is it a woman or a man that sings this it's a woman okay nothing is gonna stop me now okay something about nothing is gonna stop me now some type of verse that says nothing is going to stop me now or nothing is going to change the way I'm going to go forward in a situation. Nothing is going to stop me now. If there's a song, I don't even think there's a song called that. Maybe there is. Who knows? Uh, I don't know if any of you could find it. They want you to uh, listen to the lyrics on that song. But if you could give me more information, you're just giving me one verse. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's look in the hopes and fears. You see, okay. There we go, two cards came out. The two of cups with the death card. There could be a union here. That's a Scorpio. Some of you are gonna be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, it doesn't mean it's a Scorpio energy. Uh, there's a loving exchange. It could be something, one coming, or a new agreement, work, could also be that. Um, an agreement. A union it could be love and it's going there's a huge transformation around this okay 
in the overall, you've got the page of wands, which is really good because the page of wands talks about positive news and something coming in divine timing. It's energetically a powerhouse. Okay. And it, what is the challenge is the five of wands. Okay. There could be personality clashes here. Okay. And how you see things with this person, or this could be also you in energy. This really, if there's no one else around, well, this is all about you, right? So we're going to have to see, we're going to clarify the cards here. Like I said here, uh, so you could be dealing uh, with a, uh, you're going to have clarity around this. You will. Maybe you don't have it now, but you will. And someone is coming in with an offer. There is definitely an offer, but it's a page. Mm, they could be coming in as a king and a page. That's another thing. Okay. We have to clarify the cards, my beautiful CMCs. Uh, I hope you find that song because I don't know what song that is. I don't know the song. Nothing is going to stop me now. Wait a second. Nothing is going to stop me now. Okay. I do. Okay. I remember a song in the, in the 70s or 80s. I don't know why they keep showing me the 80s. Nothing's going to stop us now. Nothing is going to stop us now. Nothing is going to stop us now. I know it's a band. It's a band. I don't remember the name of the band. Okay. Just write down like nothing is going to stop us now. Starship? Something about Starship? Yeah, the group is called something Starship. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, take it as it resonates. It might not be for all of you, but uh, maybe go listen to the lyrics. Okay. Enough talking about the song. <laughs> there's some, there's so much I can do here. All right. Okay. There's so much I could remember about the song, but that's all I got. Okay. Cancers. Let's see what's going on here. There's definitely passion in the air new start but in what's hidden from you mm. okay i have a few i have a few messages here that i do have to give be careful around your money or your foundations if you're meeting someone new online be careful about that too that they're not scammers something that came in okay uh but we'll see i feel that some of you have your boundaries really high which is good Let's look at the page of wands in the overall cancers. The moon reversed. Beautiful Piscean Cancerian energy here. Yep. Mental clarity. Twice it comes. Clarity of thought. Mental clarity. You're releasing fear and anxiety over a situation and, you're, and things are starting to look. Things will be unveiled to you. Shown to you. And you're hearing and trusting your intuition. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Oh, and wait a second. Oh, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. A lot of you are now at this time reflecting on everything. Uh, okay, um, but uh, look at this. You got the moon reverse, the page of wands upright, the wheel of fortune, and temperance. Hello. This is healing. If this is not about someone else, this is you in energy. Okay, so. There's a union of opposites that are taking place here. They could be, like I said, it's, it's coming into balance, coming to moderation. Uh, it's about patience. It's about peace. Okay. Balance, of course, and having patience. Beautiful healing. It can be very spiritual. It's a spiritual. This could be a spiritual um, <clears throat> union. And you've got the wheel of fortune. It's about taking a decisive moment here. Um, Jupiter is here to help you. This is chance, life cycles, karma, right? Destiny, faded, good luck. It's time. Change is coming here. And you are releasing everything. And with the page of wands, something is definitely coming in divine timing. And it's a new beginning that's taking place here for you. There's going to be a lot of passion here. But the page of coins also comes in. So they're going to come in. They're coming in as pages. Whatever it is, it's coming in as a page. Okay. We'll see. We'll continue let's look at the seven of cups here reverse because there is clarity of thought here you're gonna see things very clearly you're gonna see ahead of you it's not gonna be fog anymore you got the star 
Aquarian energy. Wish is going to be, uh, there is a wish that's going to be granted here for you. A lot of you, uh, it's about your spirituality, right? Uh, you're going to feel happy, contented, contented, contentment, no, sorry, contented, contented. A lot of healing you've been going through and uh, renewal, okay? Hope and faith is being restored. Just showing me what happened in the past. This came in sideways. Okay. In the past, there was all guilt and sh uh, guilt and blame. Maybe some it could be someone you were dealing with. I don't know. Uh, there was some things that were unfair that happened to you. Okay. Uh, something got canceled. There could have been, again, imbalance, a karmic avoidance here that took place. And with the Nine of Swords, a lot of you had lost hope when it came to love or anything that you wanted here. There was a lot of like dark thoughts or nightmares or anxiety and fear. And uh, it's at a turning point. And uh, so, yeah, uh, again, uh, there could have been some type of conflict, avoidance, emotional avoidance. I don't know who was this. Uh, but what they're saying is that uh, some type of compromising or making amends took place here. I want to see an extra card because this was a past here, in the recent past. Okay, so let me just. Oh, you didn't. Let me see here. Yeah, you see? Uh, with the two of swords and energies because it was also because the, the path was unclear it shows me here and there was a decision to be made there was something that was stalemate or there was all obstacles so when the decision is made here with the star granted you also got uh, the wish for, that the wish is granted you also got the ten of pentacles uh-huh this wealth this is the fruit of life okay this could be stability in any shape way or form cancers okay legacy um, maybe uh, buying a house, estate here. There's a lineage here. It's about being stable, definitely. Okay, that's very positive. Let's look at uh, the solar eclipse that's coming to you because there is a timing of six months. So March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. They're also saying that there's going to be a, 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 a something of success that's coming in for you. Maybe it already happened or it will happen to you, Cancers. And uh, it's about letting go of control. Let go of the control of the outcome. Put it out there. Let go. Do your thing. Have fun. Celebrate. Uh, the timing is in a few weeks from now. They're showing me. In the situation here, they're showing me a bit about the past, what's the, what took place here, okay, is that there was, uh, with the page of wands reversed and the seven of coins reversed, there was someone here that was lacking growth in a relationship, in a place, in a, whatever this was for you, okay, uh, there was stagnancy, lack of effort from somebody, and the energy is redirecting itself. It's about finding a new path, and with the ace of swords, look at that, the ace of swords, this is about epiphany, awareness, and insight. It's going to be clear. You're going to be decisive. There's going to be a lot of truth. Your vision, third eye, you're going to see. <coughs> Very clear here. Let's look at the three of coins. The wheel of fortune is here. Oops, the three of coins. you got the tower. The five of wands reversed. Ooh, okay, a lot of cards want to come in. The world. You see something, there was an ending of a chapter here. That you had to go through maybe it was karmic also so you're like there's achievement there's success going to the next level right it could be travel indicated let's look at this because this came all sideways okay now in the past year okay there could have been someone not learning from their mistakes there could have been third party situation it doesn't have to be just about love it could be about anything about people places or situations someone here was uncommitted okay uh, the Three of Swords uh, sideways, uh, the Ten of Cups sideways, and the Three of Wands sideways. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, this talked about, uh, uh, you know, lack of foresight in the situation or manifesting your dreams. Something here was at a pivotal point, all right? It could have been about manifesting and big developments going to the next level, or it could have been something that was postponed. 
The three of swords. I got a lot. Of, I have a lot of threes here. I have three, three, three. You know, this could have been about overcoming sorrow, or this is about someone here that is right now not emotional, uh, not being able to be there. There's misunderstandings, not understanding what took place, and the ten of cups also came sideways. Okay, which this could talk about imbalance. A false sense of security, or this is about a blissful relationship, or just being emotionally and happy, and uh, and you know, and uh, emotionally happy, peacefulness. That it could have been anything here, and uh, yeah. So of course, the tower came into a, a shocking event or a revelation. Something a sudden change took place here, and with the five of wands reversed here, I feel that. Um, Solutions were going to be fine or some type of common ground will be found where a situation will be resolved Harmony could be restored, but I feel that there was an end an ending of a uh, there could have been an ending of uh, of uh, Of a, a chapter. Here. I'm just gonna take an extra card here. What is the overall here? Yeah, someone with Virgo energy. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo in the past Here's someone here uh, went within Took time out to go within, soul searching, find enlightenment. Uh, they were contemplating. Yeah, definitely here. Okay, so let's look at, um, like look underneath here, I didn't even have the five of cups. There will be, whatever that took place in the past year for you cancers, I feel that there's a sense of forgiveness that took place for yourself, for the situation at hand. Uh, healing and you're letting go and uh, you're accepting the change that took place place and uh, it shows that you're going to be ready to move on for others of you there could be one percent two percent of a reconciliation or closure for that it all depends where you're at and what you want to do let's look at the current energy let's look at this king of uh, wands this could be you or someone else here there's an offer here but someone here i don't know it's like no it's my way the highway there's a leader. Is it this you or someone around you? There's a lot of fire energy. Fire and earth. So let's look at this King of Wands upright. Hmm. Three of Cups reversed. The Nine of Cups. The Page of Swords. Yeah. Someone is being pulled in two different directions here. Back and forth. Um, there could be a wish fulfillment that you truly desire, but uh, with the Three of Cups reversed, this could be someone that you, I don't know, could be someone that you met online, it doesn't have to be. Uh, someone that's very communicative, but also very guarded. Uh, yeah, just be careful if there's another, if there's not another influence around this person, right? Like if it's a, it could be a love triangle, it doesn't have to be, but uh, it could be anybody here. It could be people, places, or situations. Someone uncommitted. Okay, I want to. I, I want to take an, an extra card here. Why is the three of uh, cups reversed here with the nine of cups and the page of swords with the king of wands? Please show me the truth. Nothing but the truth. Something is going to make progress here, and the timing is one to two days or one to two weeks. Okay. There's, there's some type of increase here or uh, shifting consciousness is taking place. I want to see what else here. Queen of Swords. Yeah. You have to be sharp, man. You have to be sharp, Cancers, in this situation here. Okay? Sharp is what I feel. You're mentally strong here. And you're very fair. And you have a lot. In, yeah. King of Coins reversed. The devil and the king of wands reversed. Be careful of what you're dealing with in the current energy. I don't care who it is around you, okay? Uh, there's strings attached to this individual. I don't know who it is, but there could be. Yeah, this is a, someone that, that it's also like, uh, is very much into a material world. Mm -hmm. Strings are attached here. And this is someone that is like, again, showing me is ruled by material things. This someone could be, could be very much ungrounded. They could be disloyal too, yes, and hasty. And with the King of Wands reversed, someone that's unpredictable, ruthless. So be careful around that, okay? I feel that someone here has to choose two, two different directions or they have to follow their heart or they don't. Let's see. 
let's keep that. Uh, is there anything else I need to know from this? You want one, one more? Do you want one more card? Do I hear a yes? Okay, let's see. One more card. Give me the conclusion of this of what Cancer's advice is here. What's Cancer's advice here? The two of coins. Quick decisions have to be made. Make sure you're in the clear. I do see someone going back and forth here. Okay, so be careful of that energy. That's all I could tell you. Let's look at the page of coins. In. So there could be, like, again, there could be someone you're trying to lay a foundation. There is good news when it comes to someone coming in or money or some type of, could be a loan or uh, you're going to a higher pay or higher position. Uh, there could also be a, a friendship or a, a partner coming in here. You got the six of coins reversed. Hmm. There's uh, some, someone here is being undervalued. The Queen of Wands is coming upright. The Queen of Cups is coming reversed. Hmm. What's this all about? Oh, okay. <laughs> the Chariot reversed. You're blocked by obstacles still. I'm not seeing something here. Maybe you're facing opposition. There's a lack of direction. You need to take your power back. Let me see here because I want to I wanna see what's going on here for you. There's something here that's in the current energy that you feel it's not balanced. Okay? So it's one-sided. So you know what I mean? Dependence or someone that uh, there's someone is feeling undervalued here. There's strings attached. I keep hearing strings attached, strings attached. It doesn't have to be a third-party situation in love. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be just about that. It could be other people's influences that are, you know, someone here that's that's talking here. Okay. Um, I do feel with the Queen of Cups reversed here, there's some, again, codependency, dependency here is what I'm being shown. Okay. There's a little moth here next to my... A little moth just landed next to here. I don't know if you could see it, but it's on my little box here. Hi. Okay, well... Look at that, the moth, a little baby moth. Okay, let's get back to the story. Someone that's not able to give at this time. They're not able to. They're in balance. With the hair front reversed, Taurus here. This is about... You need to think for yourself in this situation here. Something that you need, or they're thinking for themselves. With the Seven of Swords here, someone's wearing a mask. Something is not what it seems, so be careful what the offer is coming in. Because with the Ace of Coins reversed, you're going to have to review this and trust your intuition. Everything is under detail. Every detail of conversations or anything that you're having this in this uh, in this energy, where did it go? It just disappeared. Okay. Uh, whatever that, okay, whatever, it, it, you have to pay attention to the details. I feel like you went through this already. So uh, you need to revise uh, and uh, go under, uh, review a situation here because something is unstable. And uh, prepare for change. Definitely, again, they're saying uh, in uh, August here. Uh, prepare for change okay it's about believing in yourself have that self-confidence it's about being confident it's about being energetic it's about seeing the vision down the line be strong uh, because in a few months months from now it's, it's time to make long uh, long-term goals and it's also very important to express your gratitude at this time all right let's look at the queen of wands reversed why is the queen of wands reversed You got the Magician reversed, the Knight of Swords with the Five of Coins. Someone feels rejected or uh, there could be some type of change that's going to take place here. It's important to apply, to clear, to establish a clear vision, okay, because thoughts become things. And there is some type of uh, someone that's coming very quickly. Someone that's very talkative. 
They're also very dar daring and blunt. Let's see what else here. Give me. You're giving me a lot of messages for you, Cancers. Okay. The Eight of Swords reversed. The Two of Cups reversed. The Strength reversed. Whatever the situation right now that you're going through, whatever it is here that you're going through, it's important to plan ahead, okay, and have a clear vision of what you want because what you're talking about to yourself and others is what's manifesting. So it's important to have a clear vision here. I feel here that you're going to release limiting beliefs, okay? You're going to have a mental strength. It's up to you to take your power back. Set yourself free from the doubt. Whatever it is here with the four of wands reversed, the strength card reversed, and the two of cups reversed, there's some type of codependency or cling, some type of you feeling that you need to be, feeling that you need seek, seeking approval from others. Uh, there is self low esteem and self doubt at this time and lack of support that maybe you feel around you. People are divided. There's maybe something, uh, could be a, a divorce for some of you out there or, can, or, or family problems that are taking place. <clears throat> there's a disaccord. Give me one more card for that, please. No, they don't want to give it to me. Okay, let's go to the Nine of Wands. So a test of faith is being presented to you here. It's about putting your boundaries high when it comes to your family or home or money or investments, whatever it is, you're, you're very persistent in moving forward. Look, there's a, yeah, again, you see you've got the nine of wands and nine of coins here. Okay, uh, I see you do, there's a reward for, for all your efforts here, uh, Cancers. Okay, uh, maybe some of you are single here. Might, there could be a relationship that's here for you, but you need to reevaluate and take your time. You're doing it on your own. You are working on yourself. There's also abundance around you as well. Freedom and fulfillment. With the Ace of Wands coming in, this is a new passion that's telling for life or life, love or life, okay? Or it's about attraction. It could be a chemistry that's taking place. Maybe some of you, there could be, I don't know, an engagement down the line. But something is igniting here. There's a passionate start for you within yourself, I feel. What else can you tell me about the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands? Okay. You are coming out of a time where you've been healing and right now you are not moving forward very quickly. Look at that. You have nine, nine. That's some, um, yeah, you're coming out of a time where you're you're trying to gain clarity in a situation here. Probably feeling restless. It's time to reassess your plans. It's time to, with the two of wands reversed, it's time to make adjustments set goals define your purpose here you got the end of a chapter and i do believe that uh, that's taking place so you're coming full circle here you're graduating to the next level congratulations there's a sense of achievement success sense of belonging integration is taking place fulfillment travel and with the lover's card here uh, there is a union could be a friend could be anybody here this could be also you coming into balance but definitely alignment uh, there could be choices duality love choices to be made okay uh let's look at this five of swords sideways with the king of coins sideways here what is this all about for cancers the nine of wands showed up again it's about courage determination endurance persistence it's important to, to put boundaries because you are going through a test of faith the ace of cups reversed time for reflection here um it's about tuning into your intuition and it's about self-care and self-love and really like taking care of yourself okay yeah it's about again the, with the queen of coins reverse it's about uh tending to yourself your nurturing maybe some of you it's about work and home and balance um it's not about being a follower it's about being a leader because you are a cardinal sign uh, but with the five of swords uh, re uh, upright upright and the the empress upright 
Uh, for some of you with a mother figure, I think things are going to change for you. For others, this is about new opportunities knocking at your door. Um, it could be about pregnancy, nurturing, creation. Okay, And the Five of Swords, there's going to be a change up that's going to take place here for you. Uh, it's about uh, conquering your self-doubt. You're going to do things differently. There's going to be, uh, you're going to probably, there's someone you're coming in to make amends and unexpected surprises that are going to take place. Now let's look at the Two of Cups here with the Death card. So something is changing here. The Emperor, the Empress and the Emperor. It could be Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. It doesn't have to be the gender, right? Because there's no gender here. It's about uh, action, someone that's going to take action. There is stability, a leader. could be a father or mother energy here for those of you. Uh, but there's definitely uh, taking action here. In whatever it is in this commitment, making new plans, new goals. It could be work and love all together that's taking place. The fool reversed. Someone here is holding back. They're not taking a leap of faith. But with the sec again, it just shows like in the hopes and fears there. There's un it, it's unclear right now. Something is confused. Someone is lacking focus. But it shows up here that you are clear. This is uh, maybe the person you're dealing with or the situation you're dealing with. There's a lot of possibilities here. And the sun shining sideways, but it doesn't matter whether it's reversed or not. The card of the sun is shining on this. I do see the ten pentacles with change coming towards you in the fall with the sun shining is amazing. And it also touches the the lover's card and also touches money and home. The Wheel of Fortune is right here for you, Cancers. Let's look at your challenge. Your challenge is the Five of Wands. So there's going to be a personality of clashes uh, or conflict within you or disagreements here. This is your challenge. Let's see what this, this is all about. Yeah, the Ten of Swords reversed. There's a changing of the outcome. There could be a regeneration of a relationship. Someone's coming to make a comeback here, a reconciliation. I do see that. I also see a new person or someone coming back. Okay, or uh, repairing something here. I see a strong foundation. Okay, maybe you were dealing with someone here that uh, some type of, that was going, I don't know. They were holding on to a lot. Let's put it this way. Broken promises or dreams. Yeah, there will be communication coming in. Swiftness, progress. Something is coming into alignment. Things are going to take off. There could be some type of travel indicated here. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm getting that for a lot of readings and it's normal because it's in the season now. But uh, there's so so the five of cups reverse means that some of you came into closure in the situation and you're moving forward. Others of you, there could be a forgiveness and there could be a, a small part of you that are, are going to reconcile. For others of you that are moving forward, you're going to be walking away from and you're going to release whatever, whatever doesn't serve you that's emotionally unfulfilled for you. Okay, and you're letting go and moving on here. And with the chariot reverse, it just what spirit is saying to you, to you is that <clears throat> because you're being blocked by obstacles here, uh, maybe you're facing a position when it's obstacle over obstacle over obstacle over obstacle, because it shows that you're lacking direction. It's, it's, it's important and very imperative here that you take your power back and you move forward. So some of you may be are not ready to move forward. Some of you might, might might want a reconciliation with someone. Whatever the case is, if that's what you want, this is what you want. There's no judgment here. For us of you, it's about moving past, moving past the situation and moving forward. Because with the page of coins, there's definitely someone coming in. There's a good there's good news around. Could be a, someone trying to lay a foundation with you, love, or it could be at work. Whatever it is, it's here for you, Cancers. I hope. I know it's, it, it was a long reading, but there was, there was a lot of messages. So, you know, if you have to come back again and watch it and go ahead, you know. Someone here needs to take needs, needs to take their power back and move forward, okay? Because it shows me here that you will have clarity that, uh, you know, something is going to come into karmic balance for you 
uh, and uh, it's about making a decision because there is a wish granted here and with the ten of coins it's and you know you can have a, a, awareness and insight here and you have the wheel of fortune the lovers the five of swords uh, sh something is shifting in, in energy for you and I feel like you know it's about doing it differently and making amends okay because there will be unexpected surprises that are going to come in for you and the sun is shining and yes it talks about warmth success truth happiness freedom it's a big yes and whatever this is for you okay let's see what the universe has to say Okay, you got Lessons of Mars. I think Gemini got this too. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. You could check out the reading. It says purely physical sexual attraction. Fire and passions run fast and burn fast without each other's elements. Uh, betrayal. Trust this part of your journey. Understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. And last but not least, attract. Set your intentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Cancers. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And I'll see you next week. Love you.